I want to walk through an example of this uh, weighted average that we're going to be using in the the uh, gravity model of location. Uh, this came straight from the textbook. I just borrowed it. I think it's on page 324. Um, you know, I'm not using longitude or latitude this time, and that's fine. Uh, I want you to know that you don't have to. You know, I I could take just a regular grid and lay it over top of a map and and take the numbers off of that grid. Uh, for us, most of the time, they give us the numbers, right? I could plot them. I won't get a nice pretty map like I had in my. I won't get a nice pretty map like I had in my uh, other example uh, in the in the online you know the last video, but I can still draw the points. Right, this is somewhere around Lyon, uh, France, and Milan, Italy, and uh, Brussels, Belgium, and Berlin, Germany. And I, I want to create another point that would represent where I should locate. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I, I, I just want to use a weighted average. I need a weighted average with the x coordinate. I need a weighted average for the y coordinate. That will give me an ordered pair, which gives me another dot in my picture. Okay, so the weights are over here. The weights are measured by, as you see up here, the number of metric tons shipped to each location. Notice how much I'm shifting towards Berlin. That's going to pull my average that direction. And then Belgium, the next highest one. So Brussels is pulling me this direction. I'm sorry, Berlin is pulling me this direction. And then Brussels pulls me back this direction. And then the other two are kind of modest. You know, I, I don't anticipate, I, I certainly don't anticipate being anywhere in this little block right here. All right, how do you calculate a weighted average? Well, a couple of ways. Uh, I don't know what's going to be easiest for you. I know what's easiest for me. All right, the numerator is the sum of a product. All right, so the sum of a product. Sum of a product of what? Well, here's the weights, and here are the x coordinates. That's the numerator. The denominator is the sum of the weights. So this calculation should get me the x coordinate of where the the weighted center is of these four dots over in the picture. Okay. So it's somewhere around 40, 443. So 443, there's the x coordinate. Somewhere on that vertical line is going to be our position uh, where we should locate. Okay. Well, now I need to do another weighted value, but this time in the y direction. Okay. So here we go. I need the, for the numerator, I need the sum product of my weights and the y values. And then the denominator Again, it's just the sum of the weights. That is giving me my how far north I should be. So my dot is going to be somewhere right. Well, that wasn't good. My dot's going to be somewhere right in here. Well, let's put it in. Let me just grab those points. There's my dot. Okay. I don't know if I can just color one of them. We'll see. That nah, colors them all. At any rate, this is the new dot. This represents the this represents the position where I would locate uh, based on the inform excuse me based on the information in my table. This is where I would locate a facility that would feed, you know, Germany, Italy, south of France, and Belgium. I hope this is helpful, especially while you're doing your homework. Uh, ho hopefully this call over here is easy for you to replicate. 
If so, the homework will take you about 10 minutes. If not, you got a while. To, yeah, you're going to take a while. But either way, it's a benefit, right? Don't don't lose sight of the learning uh, for the problem, if you know what that means, right? We're trying to learn something that you could apply somewhere down the road. At the very least, I uh, I want you to understand the types of problems that this idea can be used uh, to solve. All right, I will see you soon.